have to replenish that truck. Now, I'm going to ask you two questions. Firefighter Gary. I'm going to ask you two questions. Where do you think, or the answer can be more than two. One question, two answers, or three answers. I got that right, I think. Where can I get water from to put in the fire truck? What's one, one place? A lake. A lake, yep. Yeah. I can lake. take water. Where's another place where I Oh no, that's dirty water. I don't want to put that back in the fire truck. I don't want to use that. That's going to be dirty in that. Where's another place where I can get water? A hose. This, uh, a hose, yep. Yeah. I can fill the truck up with from a hose, but it will take a while. What's another place? A fire hydrant. Very good. Does anybody know what a fire hydrant looks like? Yeah. The yellow? Okay. And I'm going to help you out with this last one. You might have one of these in your backyard on a hot day. You might jump into it. A pool. A pool. We're going to take water from a pool to put in the fire truck, but we're not going to fill that pool back up. Okay. If we need to put the fire out and the pools are our only source of water, we're going to take it, but we're not going to fill it back up. We do have a couple areas in Penfield where there is no fire hydrants, and one of them, I'm going to let you know, is behind Popeyes down here at Panorama Plaza. There's a camp down there for kids called Camp Hackmo, or it was a camp at one time. Now it's nothing until somebody buys it. But there is no hydrants back there, so if one of the cabins caught on fire, we would have to get water from someplace else. But luckily, there's a business right next to the camp that has a big pond there. So we could draft water from the pond through the truck to put the fire out down at that camp. And if you go to some of the homes out east, going into Walworth, some of those homes are built way off the road, way up on top of a hill. We might not be able to stretch the hose long enough from where the fire hydrant is down at the road all the way up to that house. So we might have to call in what they call tanker trucks, and we'll set up portable pools, plastic portable pools that we put water in, and we'll draft water out of. So, I'm going to get my maple leaf fire hydrant here. I'm going to get my maple leaf fire hydrant, and we're going to put the water back in the fire truck. Now, it's going to take a little bit. Because when we open up a fire hydrant, we want to make sure that we get all the stones that it might be sucking out of the ground. So we flush the fire hydrant first, and then we hook that fire hydrant back into the fire truck to fill it back up. Now, the reason why it's going to take a little bit, because it's a big tank of water, and I'm not going to tell you how much water it holds until we get outside, but it's going to take a few minutes. And eventually, that truck is filled with water, and it goes back to the fire station for the next fire call. Okay? You know how that's done, Gary? No, I don't. I'll show you after the <laughs> juggling. Okay? okay. <laughs> right. Remedial training. Can I, can Folks, I a magician? we're going to...